Hi everyone, this is Chef of Shot. Today's recipe is going to be creamy red wine chicken. This recipe is very simple to make. It can be prepared in under an hour. And the best thing about this recipe is if you don't want to use red wine, you can you ditch the red wine and just replace it with chicken stock. So let's go ahead and get started with this recipe. You'll be able to find the list of ingredients and the measurements in the bottom of the video as usual. So I'm um, here on my skillet. I'm going to uh, start off on a high flame. I'm going to add about two tablespoons of oil. I'm using vegetable oil. I'm going to use canola oil. And um, also on my stove, I have eight ounces of spaghetti pasta that I broke in half. And it's going to cook until it's al dente and I lightly salted the water. So I have four medium chicken breasts that I cut into about one inch cubes. I'm going to add that to the skillet. Just lightly season this with salt and pepper. Not a lot of salt because this is going to have more salt in the sauce and you don't want it to be salty. So I did about a half a teaspoon of salt just to cut it so it's not bland. And I have here about a teaspoon of black pepper. I'm going to reduce the heat to a medium flame and I'm going to cook this. So I'm going to cook this until the chicken's about 90% done. You'll know that it's 90% done because it'll be, so you can still see a little bit of pinkness in the meat. I'll show you that once we get to that stage. So I'll be back once the chicken is about 90% done. Okay, the chicken is now 90% um, done. So I just turn my flame off. And I'm going to pour this chicken into a bowl. Try not to get any juice in the pan, uh, into the bowl from the pan. Try to uh, keep the chicken dry. And you'll see why I say to try to keep it dry. So I'm just going to set this aside. And we're going to cook the um, broccoli and onions. So what I've done was I just poured out all the remaining juice that was in the pan from the um, chicken. And I have it on the high flame. I'm going to add a tablespoon and a half more of oil. And this is uh, 8 ounces of frozen broccoli. I'm going to add this to the oil. I'm going to cook this for about two minutes. Okay, so it's been two minutes. To this, I'm going to add some onions. That's one medium onion or two small onions. You can slice it however you like it. And you're going to cook the onion for about a minute. And you don't want the pan to be too low. You need the pan to be very hot. Now to this pan, I'm going to add the uh, chicken back to the skillet. Okay. Give everything a quick stir. And this is only going to work if you have a gas stove or if you have some barbecue matches by you if you're on a electric stove. First we need to get the pan very hot. So I'm gonna let it heat for a minute. And uh, have this at the highest flame on your stove. Here it has some red wine. You can use whatever type of red wine you have on hand. And I'm going to pour the red wine into the pan. And I'm going to tilt the pan to ignite the red wine. This is called flambe. Um, never use 100% proof alcohol to flambe because it will be a disaster. So this is a red wine. I'm going to quickly pour this into the pan and then I'm going to tilt the pan. Okay, 
then we're going to give the pan a shake. So it was very low proof alcohol there, so it didn't take long at all for the alcohol to cook off. Here I'm going to add pour a half a cup of heavy cream. Two tablespoons of uh, minced garlic. And these are all dried um, herbs here. This is a, a one tablespoon of chives and cilantro and parsley. And this is all dried. Here is a half a teaspoon of kosher salt, a teaspoon of black pepper, and I have a teaspoon of dry thyme. Give this a mix. And um, it's starting to come to a boil. So just from the mixture of the alcohol and the cream, it's deglazed the bottom of the, pel the pan very well. A couple more ingredients. It's going to be um, about a cup of sour cream. And uh, Parmesan cheese. Reduce the heat, give this a quick mix. And uh, my pasta, I cooked it until it was all dente and it's sitting here in the colander. I'm going to combine all this together in a pot. Okay, now I got everything in the pot. A couple things I'm going to add to the pot here. It's uh, two tablespoons of uh, butter. And this is a uh, Salted butter that I'm using here, because I didn't add too much salt. But um, if you are using unsalted butter, add an unsalted butter and then adjust it for seasoning. And just mix this until the butter melts. The butter will give the sauce more body flavor, and also um, the sauce will thicken a little bit just from the heat on its own. And now I'm going to plate this after I get it mixed well, and I'll show you what it looks like. I hope you guys tried this recipe and enjoy it. Please do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. And also remember to live and be well. Do all you can to stop all bullying and abuse. Thank you for watching.